Hey everybody, it's Aggie. I'm Agnes Friedlander with Agnes Friedlander Art Studio and The Painter's Journey. Good morning, it's Saturday. I'm getting ready for an event tomorrow. Yes, I'm behind, but I'm not gonna let myself freak out about it. <laughs> so come hang out with me when I, um, as I do this stuff and um, tell me if you are also prepping for Christmas events. It's fun to just kind of hang out, isn't it? So <clears throat> maybe I'll wait a few minutes and until I get a couple more people on here and tell you what this one is. I resined these yesterday and um, I decided to paint these edges. Oops. Don't you love these from Hobby Lobby? These are great little ornaments. So as you hop on, say hello to me. Oh, let me show the comments. Can't see comments yet. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys? I still get this silly comment about sharing what's hot for the holidays, so I'm deleting that. I'm using my iPad and this new stand that I bought. I love it. I love it, love it. I, I brought it with on the uh, Florida retreat, art retreat, but I didn't use it down there at all. <laughs> I don't know why. But it was nice that it packed up so small in my suitcase. And I only did two carry-ons, so it was, it was really easy getting in and out of the airport. Anyway, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How are you doing? If it's your first time here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's a frosty morning here in southern Wisconsin. Everything is very pretty and very glistening. Now, if I get the gold paint on the, on the glass, I really don't mind. It looks, it looks okay. It gives just a little hint of a gold edge on there if you, you know, from the front. And, and you know what? I don't mind that at all. So isn't this a cute ornament? <clears throat> I got these snowmen from Cracker Barrel and they were 99 cents. Can you believe it? They were 99 cents. So all this is, is an ornament from Hobby Lobby. It, it comes in a multi-pack bag, you know, in the Christmas aisle. <clears throat> I think we all know about those. And then this is the Michael's Christmas Noel glass vase filler. And then I just resined it. I did paint a little bit on here. I added a little bit of glittery, sorry, wrong way. On the, on the Cardinal, I used a red metallic paint. And I used that crazy glitter stuff. Um, it's like a chunky glitter. It's called Glitterific. I used the gold Glitterific on his hat. And I mean, what do you think? Pretty cute, right? All right, let me set this one down over here in the done pile. So another little tip I wanted to share, share with you. I use my scrubby soap. I go over to the sink and wash this off so that I don't transfer paint. Let me do that really quick, sorry. I guess I could use a baby wipe instead. So I'm calling this a hangout. Tell me what you are doing. <clears throat> I have well, this one. I kind of pulled on it too much and I should probably just replace this. Yeah, I think I will. It's, it's non good. And my mom used to say, let me get a scissors. I have this one here. Um, what do you think of this one? Isn't it adorable? I have a few like this. You love the snowman? <laughs> um, so, oh, 
now I think these, gosh, now I'm forgetting how much these range. These were from um, Cracker Barrel also, these wooden reindeer. I, I want to say, oh gosh, now I'm forgetting. I have it written down somewhere. I don't think these were 99 cents, but they were cheap. There might have been a um, $1.99, I don't remember. And then I just nipped some gold um, from the mirror candle plates at Hobby Lobby. They're like nine inches around. And I just use my round nippers and, you know, just whatever, just start nipping pieces of glass and throw them on there. I used um, Shelly's favorite glue. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly, who's here with me, Shelly's my partner. And she turned all of us on to um, this really qu nice quick drying glue. Um, and yeah, then I painted the edge. So I have to put a hanger on this one. If you guys have any tips on adding a hanger, pop them in the comments. Pop them in the comments, please. And um, these are some that I've done that I basically taught this in our angels and glass and resin class. So since that's a paid class, I'm not gonna go into the details on this, but adding a hanger, I decided to add a hanger this way. And this turned out to be the best thing when you've got this kind of an issue, you know, where it's like, gosh, how do you hang this? I suppose I could have glued something onto the back, um, but anyway, I think this is gonna work really well, you know? <clears throat> So it's, I just drilled, I pilot drilled a hole in here, and I'm gonna do that in a few minutes, and put the eye hook in there and just tied, tied the hanger on. And when I display these, I'm gonna put them in cellophane bags. Um, it's just such, I don't know why, I never thought of it before, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these bins, just, I'm going to take, when I travel to the event, this is what I'm just going to toss in the back of my car and then just take these out, plunk them on the table, you know, easy peasy. So this is how I have them, you know, in a cellophane bag. Um, and I'm going to, well, I thought of it later. I had the price on the item in there. I probably for the rest of them, I'm going to put the sticker price on the outside of the bag. And then that way, if somebody is gifting them, they don't have to open up the baggie and take the price tag off. And I love these. I got these on Amazon. Oh, I love these. They're so handy for everything. So if you've got any tips to share, pop them in the chat. So look at these. Oh, $3.99. Wouldn't this be a fabulous ornament? I haven't figured out what I want to do exactly with it yet, but it is so pretty and sparkly. I could not resist. So, um, and, and they go either way. You could even put two in a glass frame, maybe. It doesn't even necessarily have to be Christmassy, in my opinion. Oh my goodness. But you know, who would have thought of using items from <laughs> from uh, Cracker Barrel, right? Back on in my ears. Hopefully it'll let me do that. I don't want, I don't want it to switch over my microphone. So let me know if you can still hear me. Oh, wait. My music's playing there, and I don't want it to do that. I want it to play in my ears. I'm not going to let me do it. Oh. I better turn this off. It's not going to let me... It's going to mute my
turn off. I have to figure out how to do that. Okay, I love using my impulse sealer to close my bags. Oh, I don't have one of those. I use it a lot for freebies and spacers we send with our wood cutouts. Oh, it's called an impulse sealer. What a great idea. Another gadget. <laughs> Another machine. Um, if the wood is thick, you can staple your ribbon to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll staple it. It's not real thick. It's an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's what they used originally. Um, maybe I could do that. Um, Shelly, do you think I could get away with using our, our quick dry glue for that? I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a staple remover to get that out. <clears throat> okay, let me rewet this. This See, this was a bad habit. This is very bad. I'm dipping a wet brush <laughs> into that jar of paint, which, uh, yeah, we should never do that, but I'm just being lazy and it's almost empty anyway. I need to turn notifications off on that chat. Oh man, bummer. I really wanted to listen to music while I was doing this. I just have to play around with how to how to make it so that my iPad doesn't want to switch to my AirPods or whatever it was doing. I don't even know what it was doing. And again, if I get a little bit of it on the front, I really don't mind. So Shelly and Jean, what are you doing this morning? Is it frosty? Where you're at, Jean. I forget where you live. And if a little bit of the gold shows on the front, I keep saying that. If a little bit of gold shows on the front, it's totally okay. So yeah, just a word about the banner that I've got streaming across. I, I decided to go for the text messaging from my Agnes Friedlander website. And um, it's been good for me because it reminds me to, and it's a free thing for now, so I'm kind of testing it out. All right, I need to turn those notifications off. That's probably annoying. You're from Idaho, that's right. And I'm heading to a show this morning. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, well, good luck on your show, Jean. I hope you do really well. Shelly says, it's really frosty. I'm just sketching and having coffee by the fireplace and hanging out with you. Ah. Uh, oh, I bet, I bet I know what you're sketching. <laughs> okay. Let me turn the notifications off on our Florida retreat. We're still chatting about the Florida retreat. I love it. All right, how do I turn that off? Notifications. Mute this chat. Uh, I'm going to mute it for eight hours. <laughs> okay. We're talking about grandkids on there. Um, yay. So Jean, what are you, uh, what are you selling at your, at your craft show or at your event, whatever it is? What do you call it? Do you call it a craft show? Okay. There's that one. Put this by the done pile. It's not really done. I've got to fix the hanger. So here's another version of the of the reindeer with the glitterific all over it. <laughs> very, very glittery. I feel like everything looks dark on here.
I mean, the whole ornaments thing, you can't really price them very high, you know? So you got to come up with ways to make ornaments, um, you know, quickly, quick, easy, so that it doesn't take a ton of time. Because really, I think what I'm hearing is you, you got to price them like between anywhere from eight to 15, I think is the most common pricing. And um, like my angels, I'm pricing at 30 because that's really quite a bit of work that goes into them. And I think I will get that for them. And of course, the advantage of the membership is that <clears throat> we have input from other members around the, around the country <clears throat> kind of sharing info on what what they've priced things at. So that, that kind of helps give us a hint. So we all kind of talk about that. Because who has time to go to all the shows to see everything, you know? Yeah, I was surprised at how frosty it was when it got light out. I got up before it was light out, of course. So this dagger brush seems to be just the right size for this. <laughs> Okay. And he's holding two little stars and I get those little AB stars on Amazon. Good morning. Good morning. Say hello to me. Tell me what you've got going on. Who's with us? Who'll be there? Who's there? And what are you doing today? Okay. Um, what else do I want to paint? Oh, is that all of them? Um, oh, I want to show you these other little cute ones I did. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I hate using the word craft show too. Jean, I have glass Christmas trees, poinsettias, poinsettias, sunflowers, and the Idaho in glass. You are right about price point on the ornaments. Okay, so that's what you're selling yours for? Yeah, right? I mean, you just can't really ask much more than that. Okay, this one I've got to fix the thing, the hanger. Maybe I'll bring this one back over that I need to fix so I don't forget. So I'm going to let these dry and then I'll be able to put them in the cellophane and put the price tags on. All right, let me see what else. Oh, let me show you these other ones I've done. Oh, gotta get my hand in there just right so you can see them. Do you recognize these? <laughs> oh. oh, he's okay. So yeah, I resined these yesterday afternoon, so they're they're pretty pretty dry. They're not fully cured, but you know, <clears throat> of course I I'm cutting it kind of close. But um, I figured you know these could be. They do. I did get resin on the back, but oh well. What would you call these? I figured they could be like gift tags. Um, so these little rounds are from Hobby Lobby. Um, you get a bunch of them in a pack. And um, the snowman head is of course a um, jewelry product from I think Michael's. It might've been at Hobby Lobby. And of course these are just the white cabochon glass beads. And then I just nipped a little bit of metallic red glass with my round nippers and placed that on there. 
And um, I kind of was thinking these could be little gift tags or maybe they're mini ornaments for, for a smaller Christmas tree. So these were really fun to do. Okay, and then here are my Peace Dove ornaments. These are larger, um, oh, this one I forgot to make it a capital E. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I made all the other ones a capital E. Um, darn, oh well. Oh, I know why, because this one, the first layer, oh, they would make cute magnets, oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm, okay. I don't have any magnets. <clears throat> but you know what? I, I could probably, <clears throat> I don't know, sell it this way and they could glue a magnet on the back if they want it to make it a magnet. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, this one, when I did it originally, I had not varnished. I had not sealed the wood, <clears throat> so I had to do a second layer of resin in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, that's why it was still wet on the drying table. All the other ones I had gone back in, I was able to make this into a capital E <laughs> on the other ones. I didn't do it on this one. Ah. Oh, well, maybe this will be the one I keep. <clears throat> So I'm going to drill holes so that they hang. And look at the back. I almost think that the resin kind of came through. Oh, look, you could see the, that is weird, right? Um, you can see the design. I can't believe that went through. Oh my gosh, that is so wild. <laughs> Anyway, okay. You think they'll sell like hotcakes? Yeah, hopefully they will. Let me grab the other ones. Hard to hold it at the right angle. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, there's that one. You can see how I made it a capital E. It wasn't that hard. So this um, <clears throat> piece of is one of the classes in the membership. I don't think we sell that one individually. Um, Darlene says that is W-I-L. I'm not sure what you're saying. Can you show the small one again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let me show the small one. You like them? Thank you, Tony. Tony, are you new? Welcome. It's so nice to get new friends following us. <clears throat> yeah, aren't they fun? And then um, this is a, you know, a slightly different snowman, this one here. This one is the whole snowman. It's two piece. It's it's one piece with the body and the head. This one is just the head, and then I added the white cabochon bead. Yeah, I, they're so cute because they're small, right? I wasn't, you know, I kind of for some reason, I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to paint the wood rounds black. Of course, um, you know, you could do yours any color back there. You could even paint little tiny trees back there. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah I don't know why I didn't think of this stuff sooner I really like this one I really the blue looks really good on here for some reason everything looks a little dark on camera today Mark is letting Char Charlie out okay I showed you that one here's this one so yeah I hit you know what you guys I gotta share I have to share with you, I had ambitions of doing 16 of these, and uh, that didn't happen. I did <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six. <laughs> I 
but oh well, that's okay. You know, and you know, you can. Um, I thought of this later. It might be easier to wait to add the, the writing. That's just a, a silver chrome paint pen. You could wait and add the writing on top of the resin later. So that's another thing to think about. You might prefer doing it that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do when this is like a little drier. I'm going like in a few more hours, I'm going to take my chrome paint pen and write over the whole thing with it and make that a capital E and I bet I could get away with it. <clears throat> what do you think? You think I can get away with that? Maybe, maybe. And then I'm going to drill them all. You think it's going to be hard to drill this? And probably silver, silver um, twine I'll use. Like on these, I use the gold twine. So I'll use um, silver twine on that, I think. Um, so yeah, these are, you know, we're taking themes from, <clears throat> we're taking themes from the classes that we teach in the membership and using um, those designs to create um, ornaments. So it gives you a head start. I mean, that's, that's what we're all about. Helping, you know, helping artists that are sellers or gifters, maybe you're a, a gifter and, um, you know, kind of gives you a head start. I was thinking, you know, Shelly, we should do a, um, like a, um, what do they call that? A post-op, <laughs> you know, um, we should do like a, a round robin. Everybody, everybody talk about what um, ornaments sold well for them this year um, and any tips and tricks that they incorporated into their, um, into their routine this year when it comes to selling ornaments. I think that would be a really cool idea. Because like I said, I mean, and maybe everybody else thought of this, but I'm telling you, this is a, this was a lifesaver that these, these bags, you know, because then people can't touch them and fingerprint them, you know, kids want to come up and touch everything. And this way, and, and they really, they really won't, um, the glass won't poke through. If you happen to have a sharp edge, you don't have to worry about people getting hurt and all that stuff. Jean says, I did some clear store-bought angels in resin last year. They had a dark background. I sold every one of them. Yeah, uh, angels are always going to be big. Angels are always big. Great. That's fantastic. That's what I'm saying. I think if we do a, um, we should do a, you know, a little session like that. I already sold my piece of ornament. Yay. And then, like, here's another example of a design. And so the other thing, the nice thing is when you're a member, you have permission to use these designs. Um, if you're not a member, please don't. <laughs> We've got people paying to have the advantage of getting these designs to use. And um, so this was our, Shelly and I just completed the Nutcracker and Ballerina class. And I thought, well, you know, these, these nutcrackers would be really adorable uh, as an ornament. And this is a plastic ornament. And so I made tracers and, um, you know, not, not hard to do really. I mean, yeah, you do, you do have to draw the design on here and paint it, but it helps having the tracer like sitting right next to it to look at, to help you put it on here. I bet somebody could figure out a way to transfer the design on there to make it a little easier. But anyway, aren't these cute? And again, chrome paint pens. And um, I left it matte. It's a matte paint on the background so that the shiny parts shows more. You know what, we did churches last year. We did these teal churches. So I didn't do any this year, Julie. Um, trees, yeah, I have Christmas trees. 
Yes, I'm going to be selling Christmas trees at the vault tomorrow at my event. Are you local? Are you in um, southwest Wisconsin, Julie? And welcome, Julie. I think you're another new name. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to show you? I think that's it. I better, I better clean this up, right? At least I put the lid on my paint. Yeah, I think all my churches sold. Um, if you're a member, don't forget, you could do the teal churches. Those are really cute. They look really good on jumbo um, ornaments. And, um, oh, you're in South Alabama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you so, Terry says, I so want to do some nutcrackers. Yes. Um, Terry, what else are you doing? Are you doing any events? I bet you are. Um, I was, I watched a Hallmark movie yesterday. What was it called? Uh, shoot, I don't remember the name of it. But it was really cute. It was about this country singer girl that, for some reason, I fell asleep on part of it. Um, how long is the membership? 37. Um, I forgot what I had that on. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I said when I'm turning that off, Julie, I'm, I'm playing it by ear. I would say, um, I would say grab it. Um, probably, <clears throat> what day is it today? I guess I've been so preoccupied with my event here. Probably just a few more days, Julie. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see what you do with that tree from Hobby Lobby. Oh yeah, this, the tree over there. I want to play with that too. That's going to have to wait until after Sunday next week. I've got a, a free week. We've done all the classes for the month of November and, um, that's my time to do other, I can do my stuff, my, my other stuff. <laughs> I've got a couple of commissions to do too. Here's another one. Um, really easy and simple and um, this one just needs a little cardinal and they've got those cute little cardinals you know that you um, stick on little cardinal stickers everybody loves cardinals <clears throat> there's one here's my charlie i was doing little pet portrait wood rounds a few years ago That's my Charlie. So yeah, these little stickers, you know, just stick a cardinal on it and <laughs> it'll probably sell. <laughs> so yeah, we just find my stickers and stick that on there. And um, I don't know if I even need to resin these to tell you the truth. Probably don't have to. So that's a nice quickie one. And then, yeah, I forgot to do this guy. I've got one more, one more to do. Oh, so yeah, it had this design on it and I just sanded it off and I painted it all black and I didn't like how it looked. So I sanded the black off again. So I was just trying different things, you know, but anyway, huh, I think, I think that's really all I've got for now. I'm going to go ahead and do my, I'm going to package up some more angels. Like this one is ready for me to drill, drill the hanger in. We don't have cardinals in Idaho, but everyone loves cardinals. You don't have cardinals? Oh, Terry, you're not doing any events? Wow. Okay. I'm only doing this one. <clears throat> Thank you, Darlene. Yeah, he's a lover. Um, the other day, we've got these two trees right outside my studio sliding glass door here. And these evergreen trees have grown so tall that now they reach um, the upstairs little um, step out that we've got off the kitchen. It's like a little balcony. And there was the cutest little female cardinal in the branches. Oh, I wanted to slide open the 
the door and take a picture. It was so adorable, so sweet. <laughs> My husband noticed her. It's just, it's, I don't know, there's something so special about seeing a sweet little bird in a tree right by your window, right? It's like, oh, oh, <laughs> a special visitor. <clears throat> Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I think I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back into work mode, turn my music back on. And let me know if you have any questions. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.